What's in store for Bitcoin next week? What's the energy around the crypto markets? How can we tap into things like William Gann and Elliot Wave in a totally different way? I'm your host, Bill Noble, and you're not going to want to miss this. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. Now I'm here with a special guest, Toby. Toby is going to read tarot cards on Bitcoin for the last week in April. So if you're interested in energy around the market, whether it's constructive or nervous or angry, we're going to do it right now. We're going to give you analysis you've never seen before. Toby, take it away. Okay. For focusing on the energy of Bitcoin in the coming week, and I'm going to split the deck and pull three cards off the top. The first card, oh, the first card is the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands represents a bit of a combative energy, but the energy is in a winning position. So it's often, this card is called like a testing of strength. Um, and so this would be something like, so like the bears might press the market hard and, you know, test the metal of the bulls type of thing? They could be. And then ultimately there's a vic there's a victor, but the victor is not the testers, it's the test E. So whoever's being tested will ultimately succeed. They're just learning from this energy of, of the the combat. They're learning moves in a way. It's a it's an educational sort of energy experience. So however you want to interpret that. So again, <laughs> with uh, with Bitcoin, since it's been going lower, there may be one more thrust down, say, you know, at beginning of that last week in April. That makes sense because bulls have to learn it's not a bull market unless you can buy a dip and make money. And as I've said, bull markets can have really serious corrections. So Toby, what do you got on the next card? Yeah, so that was the energy that we're coming out of. Right. Okay. And so this is the energy of the moment now. We have the Knight of Cups. Ah, uh, so the Knight of Cups is a bit of a romantic character. Um, can be a little flaky. It, it's difficult to translate this into something like a coin, but I would say maybe the the energy of the people around it is. Uh, maybe they they're in in love with this idea in a very romantic idealistic way but maybe not in a practical way that's what this card would represent energy okay so if you've got altcoins out there don't get married to your altcoin remember every coin is not going to make it through the next cycle or through the turbulence in june or the fall so don't marry your bad positions the third card the third card is the Page of Pentacles. This is a new cycle of growth for money. Pentacles represent earth energy and finances and um, the body. So uh, the the page represents messages as well. So there could be, and this is where we're going, there could be some new information coming out about this. And, and it looks very good. That's a positive indicator for things in, in the future. However, it's a baby energy. It's not reached full maturity yet so you know it, it, it's just starting on a new path so interesting so we could wash bulls out test bulls right the bulls will be victorious meanwhile you don't marry your altcoin and that baby energy that could be the first part of a spike up to say 32k in bitcoin that's a big resistance point. A lot of guys have talked about it. So believe it or not, the stuff that was on the TA was the stuff that was in the cards. William Gann, Elliot, and now Toby. <laughs>